Hey, hi there, you guys, Scorpio. Welcome to your general forecast. Crosswatcher energies are interchangeable, but only take those portions that are resonating with you. And remember to check out your moon and rising and Venus sign videos for a more complete picture, and they might resonate more with you. I really want to thank you guys, Scorpio, for the likes and the subscribes and the comments. You're really supporting my channel. I really appreciate it a lot. Today you're going to get five cards from the Rider Waite deck and three cards from the Hidden Truth Oracle. And now here's your first card. It's the general atmosphere. It's the background and the basis of the matter. Scorpio, you've got the King of Swords, Air Energy, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. This is someone who is a master at detachment and discernment. They're an authority figure, an expert in the verbal arena. They could be doing a lot of thinking about communication and then acting on it. This is a male active card and communication is the key factor. They're mentally stimulating. They're already a real overthinker. They're a good counselor. They speak with eloquence and they give sound advice. They're always fair and they always speak the truth. So listen to the correct approach. This, if other people are affected by this person's influence, they're influenced by the words and ideas of this king, and they're looking, they're focused right at you. This is someone that may need to stick to generally what affects them. Your second card, and this is the energy that's crossing over your path. These are your subconscious influences. Scorpio, you've got the Three of Cups, water energy. This is Mercury in Cancer. Card of celebration and cooperation, good times, reunions, getting together with like-minded people. It brings in healing and abundance. And in this position, these energies are challenged. You may want this, and be, you're being restricted from it. It can be a thwarted gratification, or even an absence of support. Someone may feel like they do not belong. Someone may have canceled the party, or realized there were empty promises. It can also represent inebriation, group pressure, someone has their nose in the air, even emotional arrogance. This may not be your circle, so do not push for harmony and let things be. Bless them and move on. The King of Swords with the Three of Cups can be a logical decision over a reunion or a celebration. Your third card, this is how it affects you. These are the external influences that you're consciously aware of, Scorpio. Here you are in one of these cards, uh, this card, the Wheel of Fortune, number 10 of the Major Arcana. This has to do with changes, elevation, luck. Jupiter is the ruling planet. This could be a Sagittarius. Sagittarius could be in your chart or someone else's that you're dealing with. Things should be moving in your favor. It's aligning with your destiny and fate. Chance. Opportunity. Has to do with divine timing and a karmic change. A new chapter starting. It's aligning with your destiny and your fortune. Events are going to turn around in some fashion. It can also be a surprises. King of Swords with the Wheel of Fortune is deciding to move forward, and it pays off to be assertive. Your fourth card, it's a card of the future, the outcome, the results, and the advice. Scorpio, this is not a good card. The Nine of Swords, Air Energy. This is Mars in Gemini. 
card of worries. This is unfounded anxiety. It's being apprehensive. It's worrying, dreading, obsessing, suffering from insomnia. You might be having nightmares or trouble sleeping, or you're waking up at night and you can't get back to sleep because of all the thoughts that race through your mind. It's too much overthinking. So you need to talk about the problems that you're burying. These worries that are hanging over your head. You'll need to speak up to solve these problems or it brings regrets and nightmares. The suffering is in the mind. It's a mental torture. So changes do need to be made for a better future. This can be ruined plans or health worries. So steps need to be taken to solve problems. Nines represent you are near the end of this mental ordeal. And your fears need to be addressed, so do not ignore them. This can be someone overly sensitive to other people's opinions. They need to talk it out. And then it helps them heal and to reach a culmination. There is a wisdom and a strength that's gained through this experience. Remember that the fear of difficulty is worse than the reality. The fear is far worse than the outcome. So put two and two together and look at contradictions around you. Strengthen your resolve and your patience and try not to feel so down by temporary blockages or difficulties. Talk about what is keeping you up at night. Let it out. Explore the beliefs that are underlying your fears and do not rush things. Maintain faith and trust. These are old goals that darken over and new ones lighten up. There's going to be fresh mental pastures. The King of Swords or the Nine of Swords is feeling depressed and helpless. There's just too much overthinking. Your fifth card. It's the bottom of the deck card. The underlying issue. This is what's unseen. It's unseen because it's something that you're not sharing with others, yet you are consciously aware of this, Scorpio. The Seven of Swords, Air Energy. This is a moon in Aquarius. Now the moon always represents fears. This is the lower echo of the high priestess in the star. It is a no card. This is someone using evasive tactics to avoid a confrontation. They're sidestepping an issue. They could be stepping over boundaries. Or they could be trying to take a risk to get away. They may be hiding from the truth or getting what they want in a clever or sneaky way and then feeling uneasy about it. And they're not looking where they're going. They're running with other people's conversations and they could even cut their self. Or they're wanting to take back harsh words or to get away with them. It's using words to keep others at a distance. It can be a sneak attack, diverting attention, using creative thinking to get away, hinting, manipulating, doing things your way, their way, breaking free, breaking agreements. It can be a change of direction. The King of Swords or the Seven of Swords, this is someone hiding something. It could even be from their self. It's impatience with delays. This is a delicate situation. It's something under wraps that needs to be dealt with or cut away. Or it will interfere with what you are trying to accomplish. The Three of Cups with the Wheel of Fortune is a celebration and good fortune. It's being enriched by like-minded people, team players, the other people around you. The three of, three of Cups with the Nine of Swords is bad company. It can be friendship anxiety. Celebrating even though you have anxiety or feel hopeless inside. It can be a social anxiety. The Three of Cups with the Seven of Swords is feeling like being an outsider. It could be friends that you're trying to avoid a confrontation with. 
This can be someone that steals joy out of a situation. The Wheel of Fortune with the Nine of Swords is restlessness, it's anxiety and worries, they are short-lived, and it's regret if a chance is not taken. It's a high-energy state of self-motivation, it's a change for the better in a very unexpected way. It could be fear of the future or anxiety over a major change. The Wheel of Fortune with the Seven of Swords is there's a risk involved. And if this risk is not well calculated, then taking the chance will mean a loss to you. This risk taken causes a downturn in the wheel, so caution, Scorpio. The Nine of Swords with the Seven of Swords is a fear of failure, a fear of taking responsibility. It's escapism and running away from problems. Here's your first card of the three of the Hidden Truth Oracle. I look everywhere for you, Scorpio. I look everywhere for you. Here's your second Hidden Truth. You were the best thing in my life, Scorpio. You were the best thing in my life. Here's your third card. I am not available. I am not available. Thanks, you guys, Scorpio. I hope you stay tuned in and leave me a comment or a thumbs up, and please subscribe. Now remember, what goes around comes around, so I'm sending you guys out love and light and blessings. Thanks for watching.